What, you got no one to drink with anymore now that I'm dead? Unethical sham. Tell him Lindsay says hello. <laughs> Boo! Ah, boo yourself! Who's there? Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, mother, help me. I repent. My entire life's been a lie. It's me, you toe-headed simpleton. Wait, wait. John? John McCain? I've been dead for, what, a month? And you've already forgotten about me? Sorry. I, I just wasn't expecting you. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting you to sell what was left of your shriveled up soul after I checked out. You were my best friend, John. Pigs in a poke. What have I done to make you want to haunt me? I didn't come all the way down here to haunt you. I came to taunt you. What do you mean? This Trump sycophant act. It's gone from pathetic to absolutely mind-numbing. And then last week you hit embarrassing with those histrionics on Kavanaugh? I have to think about the political realities here. You mean getting reelected? You're so boring, so ambitious, so corrupted by power that you can't possibly imagine a life outside of Washington? Do you think I was calculating the political realities when I was enjoying my extended stay at the Hanoi Hilton? Now, John, you're not being fair to the president. I know you two never got along, but I really think if you'd got to spend some more time with him, maybe played some golf with Are him... Are you really saying this to my face? Well, actually, I can't see your face. Good point. But Trump is really a great golfer. Shot a 67 the first round I played with him. A 67? Listen to what you're saying. He didn't come close to a 67, and you know it. This is me you're talking to here, Lindsay. Sorry. I'm used to performing for the press and saying whatever it takes to beat the Democrats. And I am getting the best of them all where it matters most. A conservative court for decades, a generation or more. You were good, solid conservative, John. You understand? The Democrats. This isn't about the Democrats. This is about country. This is about honor. Well, maybe I've just come to like Trump, okay? Good God. I guess it really is always darkest before it gets totally black. The old Lindsay would be pointing and laughing at what a clown you've become. I mean... You yourself used to go around shouting to anyone who'd listen about how Trump's a, an embarrassing kook, how he's not fit for any office. That was in the heat of the campaign. Oh, Lindsay, you bullshitting little hypocrite. You wouldn't stop yabbering with your silver-tongued southern drawl about what a buffoon he was. A buffoon! The political landscape has changed. Your soul is what's changed, Lindsey Graham. Take it from me. It's just kind of in my wheelhouse now. I'm trying the best I can. No, you're not. You're out there screaming and hollering, practically foaming at the mouth, banging your fist and wagging your finger, erupting like a delicate little volcano. For what? Just to put an obvious liar and probable sexual assaulter on the Supreme Court? Be careful, Lindsay. There's a big difference between purgatory and heaven. Well, you forgot what it's like to be in the middle of it all, John. The witch hunting Democrats may seem like bumbling fools, but they're vicious to the core. This is more complicated than you're making it out to be. No, it's not. You put on that stupid fucking grin and talk to me about how great it is to golf with Donald Trump? He golfed during my funeral. Did you know that? I couldn't believe he did that. Maybe you're right about the man, but, but what do you want from me? I just want you to admit it. That's the first step to saving your soul. Admit what? He is the president, you know, and I have to work with him. Lindsay, are you aware that in the afterlife, you get to know everything about what goes on down here on Earth? You can even hear people's thoughts. Oh, well, fine then. You got me. I want to be Secretary of State. I'd even take Attorney General. Is that so bad? I'm a politician, John. You were one too. You didn't always do the most principled thing. Remember Sarah Palin? Who? Oh, <laughs> John. <laughs> I'll do better. I doubt it. But at least you can work on your acting skills. Anyone with an IQ over 40 could see you were putting it on at the hearings. And those who know you best could tell you'd had one too many at lunch. I could never get anything past you, John. Still can't. No, sir. But did you see the look on old man Grassley's face when I started going off? I swear he got a stiffy. Probably his last one. Oh, God save us all. <laughs> Goodbye, Lindsay. John, wait. Wait, just one last thing. 
Oh, boy, here we go. What do you want to know? Why does the world exist? What's the meaning of life? Actually, I was wondering, what is your understanding of the true nature of Devil's Triangle? And don't leave out any details. I think you know. Oh, my stars and garters.